Hello, peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna. I am a spiritual healer, guide, and coach. Today, I am going to do a spiritual love reading for anyone who may have had a rough weekend. Um, this past weekend was pretty intense for me, um, and I was just going to do a personal reading, but something guided me to do um, just an overall reading for the general public as well. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that might have had like some really really intense things come up with this past full moon in Scorpio. Now, um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you, and that's okay. Take what does and leave what does not. Um, and I also wanted to say that when things that we don't like are illuminated, it's okay. Sometimes we need sometimes we need to see things. It only becomes a problem when it's there and we don't want to recognize it and we don't want to address it. So if the full moon shed some light on some darkness in your life, then, um, then just sit with it and be open to whatever messages that you may have received. I did a lot of, let me move this out of the way. A lot of, um, Self-reflection, I actually kept myself really busy this weekend. So I moved my healing space and office into a different bedroom and just kind of swapped out my space with my daughter's space. So that took up a lot of time um, and it gave me something to do so that I wasn't just sitting in the emotion of it all. I also got a lot done for my business and um really did some journaling just to say like, okay, what is this that's coming up for me? So I encourage you to just tune in and pay attention to the things that you don't like, to the things that upset you, that trigger you, that make you feel some kind of way. And, um, and figure out why. Don't just let it happen and, and not process it because when we process, that is where growth happens. So I'm just shuffling. I'm going to pull an Oracle card, and then I'm going to use my lovely Mermaid Tarot deck. My other deck um, that I've been using a lot lately that I absolutely love is the um, Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas, but I am doing some studying with it, so that deck is not available for readings right now. So after I get off of this video, I'm going to do some studying and then I got some things that I need to do around the house. So I'm just thinking about this past weekend, the intense energies of the moon and just shadow work and just seeing what, what all that means and what does that represent. So if you had a rough time this weekend, I felt like your whole life was just being called out. You were kind of in your feelings. And this is a good reading for you to kind of to watch and um, see if you can gain some spiritual guidance from it. Hmm. Wow, okay. So underlying the issue is there's a need to express yourself. I pulled the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is one of my favorites. Um, he's all about communication. But also when I see the fifth chakra, that's our throat chakra, there's a need to express something. And sometimes it's not vocal. Sometimes um, it's, it's heart expression. So our heart chakra and our throat chakra are connected. We can express our heart chakra through our hands. That's like the, that quote, this is do all things with love, that um, scripture in the Bible. Um, and also through our voice, through our um, throat chakra. So if there is something that you've not been saying, that you've not been accepting, that you've been ignoring or avoiding, and maybe it's just like being honest with yourself about who you are, how you're showing up, the things that you're doing, um, but just really tune into that and see what it is that you're not acknowledging. What are you not saying or you know are you allowing yourself to express yourself are you allowing yourself to 
really be vulnerable and witness what's going on with you so that you can make changes. Um, journaling is one of my favorite ways of self-expression. That is if you don't have anybody or feel like there's nobody you can trust with your, you know, your heavy stuff. Um, if you don't, you know, have a therapist or a coach or a healer, get a journal, write down whatever it is that's coming up. And then you can set it on fire. You can tear it up. You don't have to keep it. Nobody else has to see it, but allow yourself to express that. And um, as I was talking, something popped into my mind and I'm trying to connect back with it. Oh, it left just that quick. Um, it's definitely about self-expression and I'm hoping that that insight comes back to me. <laughs> it totally left. But the thing about it is, I, I, okay, that's what it is. So it's not expressing your true self, right? Because here we've got blossoming abundance and happy family. Like these are both very good cards. So it's very possible that you, something that you're doing or not doing or saying or not saying, however you're expressing yourself, you could be keeping yourself from this. So it's really time for you to express who you truly are. And that's what it was that was coming to me. So I'm looking at this, this halo over his head, like, right, he's illuminated, this beautiful archangel. And this is like stepping into who you are and expressing who you are with confidence, no longer letting those fears that probably popped up for you, those limiting beliefs, those bad habits that came up with the um, this past full moon, no longer letting those control you. Like you, there's a new way that you need to express yourself. There's a new way that you need to show up in this world in order to have the happiness, the beautiful life and the blossoming abundance that you not only desire, but deserve. So that's beautiful within itself. And um, I'm really appreciative for this message. There's a lot of transformation, a lot of healing that um, that has taken place with that with that full moon. And when we go through the darkest of nights, right? Even though we had the the full moon, oh, I wish I had that card. Let me see if I can find it. We had the moon that was illuminating our path, right? Through the darkness, through the parts of our oh, there it is praises. Okay. Right. So we had the moon that was illuminating the darkest parts of our life. Right. And if we allow it to guide us through, through those fears, overcoming those limiting beliefs, then we get to that good life. We get to the abundance. We get to the bliss, the happiness, the joy, the peace, the prosperity, all of those magical things that we want in our life, if we do the work, if we allow ourselves to be free of those old ways. So for a lot of people, you might have had like some old stuff pop up, some old habits, old beliefs, or just, you know, really felt some discontent with yourself. And, and that's okay. It's just letting you know that, hey, this isn't working. I want to do something different. So um, I think that's really beautiful. And honestly, I could probably just leave it right there. <laughs> but I'm just going to pull um, three cards from my tarot deck just to, just to see what else comes up and give some support and guidance so that you know what next steps to take, how to integrate um, the lessons, how to show up, how to express yourself in a new way so that you can step into that beautiful life. And the thing is that we deserve it. We deserve abundance. We deserve happiness. We deserve bliss. We deserve love. All of the things that we want, but we feel like we can't have it. We feel like we shouldn't get it. Like, like we are not worthy, but you are, you were born worthy. And so it's a matter of getting out of your own way to let yourself be somebody new. Let yourself be reborn, be recreated, release the fear, release the past, release limiting beliefs, and really step into the fullness of who you were created to be and express that, express your divinity, express your, um, 
your purpose of being, your light. Gonna do one more shuffle. I'm just gonna do three cards. No, no, no. <laughs> Not a whole bunch just pop out. <sighs> okay, let's see. Getting back to a place of love within yourself is going to require you to do some work. Um, we've got the King of Cups here that's generally maturity, emotional maturity, um, being able to express yourself in a healthy way, um, very balanced emotions, but you might need help getting there. There's probably work that needs to be done. Like I said, maybe it's journaling, maybe it's therapy, maybe it's working with the coach, maybe it's just having a conversation, maybe it's being real with yourself to say, okay, it's time for me to work on some discipline. What do I need to learn? What do I need in order to grow so that I can show up and express myself differently? We don't want to continue to react out of old habits, out of old beliefs, old patternings that no longer serve us. When we do that, we stay stunted. And that's what I'm seeing here in the Five of Swords, right? Everything is all fun, right? We're throwing daggers. It's, it's all good. Everybody's playing until it gets real. So something probably happened that um, a little, a wound was probably exposed. And now it's like, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to face that truth and, um, and heal the boo-boo, right? Because now playtime is over. Playtime is over. So now it's about gaining clarity it's about knowing what direction you want to go in. It's about knowing who you want to be surrounded with, um, knowing the people, the, the places, the things that you want in your life and getting really clear on that. And that, again, it's going to take some work and, you know, actions in your daily life to show, you know, love and dedication for yourself. Healing is possible. Overcoming the past is possible but it's a matter of you taking the time out, deciding who it is that you wanna be, how you wanna show up in the world, um, disconnecting to really get clear on that. So for some people that might mean, you know, you need to meditate. I know I did not get a lot of sleep this weekend. Um, so again, I feel like rest is needed to really restore the mind so that you can make a decision and get clear because you don't want to keep playing games, right? And it's funny because what I'm seeing here, right, we have the two men that are, you know, older, and then we have children. So we don't want to regress, right? We want to mature in our thoughts and in our emotional state and, and so on. And it's really important. A lot of times we do need to have support in doing that because we don't necessarily have all of the pieces that we need. So it's important that you are getting support, that you're not allowing yourself to stew over in, um, in disappointment, in sadness, in not recognizing the blessings and the abundance that we have here. So a couple more cards came out. I've got the Four of Cups. Like, he's just like, woe is me. Woe is me, my life is terrible, it's horrible. But look, there's a mystical, magical creature right there who has an amazing gift for you, but you can't realize it because you are, you've got your head stuck in the ground. You're not paying attention to the blessings that are in your life. And you're literally missing out on the abundance, on the love, on the money, on the success, on the friends, on the adventures. And that kind of goes back to what the, the Oracle cards showed me. Like, do you want to continue showing up like this in your life? Do you want to continue doing the same thing day in, day out, not creating new habits? Or do you want to show up like this and like that? 
because right now this energy of negative emotions, of feeling that you're not supported, we've got to change that. And it's totally possible. So if you had those, you know, revelations or those thoughts that came up, um, you know, over this past past weekend, past week or so, allow yourself to um, just know it, it came up as, it's like a red flag, right? It's like a flag, like, hey, you're not happy. You don't want to be like this. So start doing doing things to, to change. And um, it doesn't have to be something drastic at all. It can just be something small. Start small. And then once you master and ingrain that new habit, then you add something else on. And if you're feeling that you need support, that you can't do it, I do offer, not only do I do intuitive um, tarot reading sessions that can help provide you specific guidance as to what's going on with you in life. Um, I also do coaching services that allow me to combine all of my favorite gifts and tools to support you in your life. So that includes, um, with my clients, I will sometimes make custom meditations for them. They get love work, which is quote unquote homework to help them integrate their lessons. I also make custom essential oil blends and, you know, I'll do um, EFT tapping sequences for them. So I really pull in a holistic um holistic methods to really help make help them create the changes that they want to see in their lives because a lot of times we do we get into that rut where we are just feeling and I shuffle the cards back together but where we're just feeling just down and out like there's no help there's no support and we don't know what to do and that's one of the reasons why I started my business why I wanted to become a coach and use my healing and intuitive gifts to help people because I've been in this situation before I've been there where there was no support or I felt like there was none and it was you know just not apparent to me and so going through something like that really inspired me to want to help others to be a light unto others to help other people heal and overcome their challenges and so that is why i do what i do and i absolutely love it this is my purpose it's my passion and it's it's only getting better every single day so i hope that this message um resonated with you and i wish oh i do let's see and i'm just gonna pull one card because i have rearranged my office and healing space i don't have all my debts readily available to me so that's something that I'm kind of getting used to they are behind my chair on by the door over there oh, no, this way. they're over there don't look at my mess on the floor I've got some um notes and <laughs> notes and things that I need to um to go through so I just want to get some goddess guidance to close out this reading Oh, wow. That was beautiful. So this just fell out and it's the goddess of abundance. I live like I mean it. And the beautiful goddess that is on here, her name is Ayazan. She's a Haitian goddess. And so the question is, how are you holding back? If you felt that you deserve good things, what would you do differently? What attracts wonderful experiences and people to you? What did you learn about self-love? And um, that's one of my favorite topics when I talk about um, self-love, because we are not taught to love ourselves. That is not something that's taught. And as a mother, like I noticed, you know, once when my oldest went to, um, she started going to school, that's when a lot of doubt and, you know, self-esteem and confidence issues come up because you're now put into an environment where there are other people and children who are not as kind, loving, and nurturing as your family unit. So um, unless we learn to love ourselves, unless we learn how to combat the negativity that the world might put out on us, because every time we turn on the TV or hop on social media or look in a magazine or watch a movie, people are dictating who you should be, what you should look like, what you should sound like, what you should wear, but don't wear this if you're shaped like that. Your hair needs to be like this, not like that. And there's so much of that 
that if we don't know how to love ourselves, we will lose ourselves in the process. And like the two who were, you know, the, the guy sitting on the beach and the other one sitting up under the tree, you're just desolate down and out because you don't know what to do. You feel like you don't belong, like you don't have a place, like you are not worthy. And we don't want to feel like this anymore. So now it's time for you to live like you deserve it. It's time for you to live like you mean it. It's time for you to love yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. And that is what spiritual love is all about. It's about loving yourself on a holistic, holistic way. And it's not just about, you know, mani petties and making yourself look good on the outside. It's really about taking care of yourself on a energetic, on a spiritual level, you know, doing the work to, you know, work through forgiveness issues, heal mindset issues, switch up negative habits, and really get to a place where you're loving who you are inside out. And that's very, very powerful. Um, you are abundant. Abundance is not just money. There's, there's, so many different resources and ways to see abundance in your life. And one of the activities that I started doing for myself was making a list of how abundance shows up. So I'm trying to see, where is my list? It's in my, uh, here, it's in here. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see some of the stuff that I put in there. So I know one of the things that I listed was like my dad picked up my daughter and I was grateful for that. Um, that was a beautiful exchange of energy. Um, I also was able to, you know, someone approached me about lawn care and they had a really amazing rates that would save me from, you know, what I'm paying now. Um, talking to a friend, getting a, you know, text message, a friend sent me a message like, Hey, I just wanted to know that you're doing really awesome. And I see you working hard. I'm really proud of you. That's all abundant. So, um, and then uh, Savvy and I, we went for a walk and I've been trying to decide if I was going to get us a dog. But I was like, you know what, right now, I don't think I have the bandwidth for a dog. Um, and I want to wait till she's a little bit older. So we went for a walk and in one of my neighbor's yards, they have a dog. It's an older dog. At first I was like, I don't know. It's what, what's but then they started waving, waving, wagging its tail. So I was like, okay, he's nice. <laughs> And the dog just walked with us. So he would, you know, run off and sniff and go do his business and come back. And, um, and it was nice. I got to have a dog without the, you know, responsibility of a dog. So again, that's abundance. Start to recognize um, the abundance that is in your life and realize that you deserve it. Don't let yourself get sucked into a hole of negativity or shame or embarrassment. No. We are switching it up and we are going to allow ourselves to dance like nobody is watching, to live like the world is ours, and to love like, like we've never lost. <laughs> so I hope that this has um, encouraged you, inspired you. Um, check the description box. There'll be some links if you want to connect with me, if you want to purchase your own reading or um, apply to work with me. I would love to support you in life on your journey to inner peace, wholeness, and love. Until next time, peace.